Hey everyone, um, I just want to make a quick video here on a couple topics with our kids. Um, the first one is cell phones and the second one is money requests. Um, many of our kids are um, either asking their donors or their sponsors for phones or they're actually um, saving up their money or in obtaining a phone. So I just wanted to kind of clear up um, a couple things and address some concerns and maybe set some guidelines. Um, if you want to get your child a phone, it's perfectly fine. Um, we're not going to set up any age requirements, but I'm expecting that most of the kids that um, would be active users are going to be the teenagers. Um, we have probably about five of our kids right now have a phone. Um, and once they get a phone, they can get on Facebook Messenger and pretty much send messages for free. Um, the phones over there, these aren't like the smartphones that we have. They're more of like the old flip phones that we used to um, have years ago. And um, so they get on there and they can get on Facebook Messenger and type messages um, and they can make calls. And once they get a phone, it's more of like a um, you pay as you go. So for I would say about a dollar or so, they could technically make a phone call that's, you know, to the states for about 10 minutes or so. Um, and pretty much the Facebook Messenger doesn't really take up any of their data. So they can pretty much freely just send you messages. So I did want to just say that if you if it's something that you want to do, you can get your child a phone. Um, they're about between 17 and 20 American dollars. Um, and it's something that you could either send money through us or um, you could send money yourself. Um, I have a couple donors right now that have um, set themselves up um, on a website that we use frequently called worldremit.com. And it's a very safe um, way to send money from a debit card right to somebody's phone. Um, in Uganda, that's how a lot of people pay for, that's how water bills are paid, electricity is paid, uh, many stores that you go to, you just pull up your phone and you put money, you pull up your phone, you type in their number and you send money right from your account on your phone to their phone. So um, it's a very nice way to get money over there. Um, it's a very minimal cost. They just take a little bit out of exchange rate. Um, and like I said, I have a couple of sponsors that do um, send their kids money. Like I think I have one sponsor that sends like five dollars a month so he can buy some minutes on his phone and maybe he can get, you know, something that, a little bit special to eat. Um, and this is not a requirement by any means, but I've had several people ask about it. So the other um, thing I want to talk about is money requests. The kids... Um, will, once they get access to um, talking to you more frequently, if they are on Facebook, they are likely to ask for different things for money. Um, if they're in just driving you crazy and asking for money all the time, let me know. I plan to have a talk with them. And I don't think, I think there's just a couple kids that have asked um, numerous times for numerous different things. And, you know, when it's their only way to possibly get money, um, you know, it can get a lot out of hand. So uh, it's something that if you want to send money, it's fine. If you get a request for something before you send money, I would definitely um, verify the, um, verify first what it's for um, and verify also um, the amount with me just or any of the team members. Just kind of send a message to one of us um, you know, I'm happy if you want to just say, hey, my kid asked for, you know, some, you know, this tuition for a um, field trip and it's, you know, 20,000 shillings. And I can, I have so many contacts that I can immediately contact somebody over there and say, hey, is one, is there really a field trip? And two, is this what it's costing? It's really important, I think, for us um, to make sure that these requests are valid and that the amount is also valid. Um, you know, when you're coming from extreme poverty, there's um, times where we've been taken for, um, for money that's you know, not necessarily the exact amount that it should have been. So we're very careful about that right now. We want to make sure that 
if you are sending money over there that everything's validated and um, just to keep us all safe. If you do um, get your child a phone and you do find that you're, um, you're friends with them on Facebook or her on Facebook, um, I just wanted to let you know you'll start getting tons of requests from Ugandans and not necessarily people that they know, but they'll just see your name on their account and um, it can get a little crazy getting numerous friend requests. Um, just a couple things on that. I think it's totally fine to be friends um, with people over there. I think it's awesome. It's a good way for them to learn about us and for them for us to learn about them. Um, I would be careful though about only becoming friends with people that you either know or that you know that the team knows. Um, you're more than welcome to get on my Facebook page and search in, up and see if I'm friends with that person. Um, I do not accept any friend requests unless I personally know the person and I just think to keep it safe, to keep everybody safe, it's the best thing to just make sure that we have contact with these people. We've had um, some people get their Facebook accounts hacked and their emails hacked from people over there sending us um, messages saying that they're in need of money and please send money here and that would just be um, an easy way to um, make sure that it's really somebody um, make make sure that you're becoming friends with people that we're friends with um, but like I said if you send money just send me an email to just verify um, and if you have any questions about using the site or if you just want to send money through this that's totally fine too um, anyway, I think that's it. So if you have any questions, feel free to email me, text me, call me. Um, and that's it. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye. Oh, my cat wants to say hi. He's been sitting here the whole time. Say hi. This is Olaf. He's patient. He wants his cat videos to watch. <laughs>